Hi, so um, yeah, I think um, someone requested that um, with my NDE, they wanted to know what type of a life I lived before. Um, okay, so I grew up in a home. I know my gran grandmother was a Catholic and she helped um, people in, in, in the war. Um, the priest would bring her orphan babies and she would um, bring them up and look after them. Um, anyway, I grew up in a, a, a non-Christian home, um, you know, where they didn't really believe in marriage, etc. Um, so I did, mum did play the organ at churches, um, and um, uh, though she didn't really believe in marriage, etc., I thought it was, you know, just a piece of paper where God's actually shown me that he joins someone together. Like, you have a lifeline, your partner, your husband has a lifeline, he joins it into one and makes it one. And if you ha have salvation, you've asked Jesus into your heart, there's a cross joined into your lifeline and your lifeline is almost like a silver color a bright white silverish shining color where it is like if your husband's a non-christian it's like an ink like you've shot ink into water sort of murky color so you have to have the cross joined into your timeline um in order to be able to enter heaven but anyway, I grew up a, in a non-Christian home. I had a pretty, um, did whatever I wanted as a teenager, you know, um, joined uh, like a cult, the Hare Krishna type cult, you know, when I was about 13 um, because I didn't have stability at home um, at that time. I, I um yeah, mum was sort of doing her own thing and um, had a new boyfriend and I decided to go and live with the Hare Krishnas and you know, after then I got into a bad lifestyle. I, um, um, you know, I met a friend um, who was into witchcraft and she introduced me into that and um, later, um, yeah, uh, so... You know, I'd been um, practicing this, but it always brought very bad results. Um, I used to think, believe in reincarnation. Um, I used to believe that um, ghosts, well, ghosts are actually demons, but I used to believe that you could actually get um, help them to move on to the other side. Um, you know, all those strange new agey beliefs um, that I believe, but they weren't true because when I died, you know, there was Jesus, heaven and hell. And that's all that existed. Uh, Jesus is God. He showed me the eternity sign. He, um, you know, this sign that, oh, hold on, like, goes like that, that eternity sign. He showed me that coming out the sides of him. He was trying to show me as he's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the everlasting one, God. So anyway, um, I practiced this witchcraft and stuff, but it always brought uh, bad results. Um, you know, I had a lot of nightmares and stuff and seemed to be sort of a struggle between good and, um, and my beliefs and... Um, you know, I was having nightmares of, um, about the enemy, you know, quite early on. Um, and I did feel the Father's love. I felt God's love with me as a child, you know, when there was no one there to hug me and that God would send me like a feeling of love. And so he was always there loving me. I could feel him. Um... Yeah, there was quite a lot of strange things, you know, that happen when you're in witchcraft. Um, but I'd rather not go into that, you know. Um, what Jesus has done is far more powerful. 
and the other the other side did turn on me you know so you know I, I used to try and help people etc I thought I was a good person um, I remember even saying to a friend you know do you think I'd go to heaven or hell and he said definitely I think you'd go to heaven um, I was trying to provide for my family but um, probably not in the right ways um, um, I really didn't want my kids to not have anything um, I wanted them to have everything I could you know possibly give them I wanted them to have a good life and um, so you know I wasn't living according to the Bible and if you're breaking any of the commandments at all you won't make it to heaven and that's why you need Jesus Christ to wash those sins away for the cross to be joined into your lifeline and uh, the only way to do that is to cry out to him to help you immediately because he's the most powerful name in the universe the name above every name and the only name given to us to be saved um, yeah so you know I was, had the wrong types of friends etc and wasn't living the you know recreationally doing things I probably shouldn't have but Jesus has really turned my life around and um, he's really been there for me and given me so many chances which I'm so grateful to God for doing that for me um, yeah I mean really even as a teenager I really felt like I'd lived um, hundreds of lifetimes because I'd been through that much um, when I met Jesus um, I felt his love pouring out on me and I heard him sing over me like a vibrating brook a waterfall like an archangel and um, from that time on I felt new I felt my soul felt reborn and new uh, like I'd been resurrected and I really felt alive I didn't, for the first time um, Jesus is truly beautiful and he's love and the author of love and when God is eternal so the love he's able to give you is infinite and that's why he loves us so much I believe one part because he has an infinite ability to love in a much huger capacity than we have but he's absolute he's really beautiful and I remember when I saw him I just remember being awestruck and blown away by his beauty but um yeah, so my life, I suppose, you, I, I thought it was, um, I was living not a bad life, but according to the Bible I was, and I didn't realise um, that the Bible was true, didn't realise Jesus was God, till, you know, I crossed over, and um, yeah, um, I just want to beg you to please turn to Jesus for help because he's the only one who's going to be able to make sure your eternity is in a good place the horrors of how your soul will not be able to handle it is the most horrific thing and um, this was what I saw peeking out the top of the tunnel when I just as I went too close it's smart grinned like this and snatched me away and you know for 12 years after I could still feel the worms crawling through me for 12 years in the stench of death um, there's nothing good in hell um, and I people will not understand on earth how awful hell is because I can't describe it I'm sorry I am not able to articulate how much horror there is when everything good that comes from God will, is taken away when you go there so your mental health that feeling of being stable in yourself of breathing fresh air um, any good feeling it's stripped away and you're just left with horror 
with no hope because hope comes from God. So, yeah, please don't go there. Please ask Jesus for help and to save you. The eternity sign is like this. And my pen won't work. just a basic description of the eternity sign which was coming out both sides of Jesus and he was trying to show me I'm the Alpha and the Omega I am God the everlasting and I'm starting to though I haven't finished this and I've got a lot to do on it because that's not exactly how Jesus looked It describes in the Bible about the fire. He has a bronze fire around him and he was in a ball of fire, which makes the reflection of the fire around him makes his eyes look like fire. So what else? Um, yeah. So um, these are my birds. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. Hi. He's still a bit shy. <laughs> See ya.